Okay, I should be live. At least I think so. I mean, it shows that I'm live, so I'm probably live. So um, I also have music this time, so let me know if it's too loud or not. I'm not really sure whether it's too loud or not, but let's go. Um, this time we're actually going to create something much more interesting than last time. We're going to create actually a pretty cool animation using Photoshop and After Effects together. Wow, how cool is that? So, um, everything should be good. And uh, so, first of all, let's go about, like, let's talk about the images that I'm going to use. And uh, what I want to do actually is I want to take a robot, not, I want to create a Android robot goal. So let me explain you what I mean, what type of animation we're going to create. Let me just change my screen. Boom. Oops. Uh, wait, give me a second. I forgot to put myself in the screen, in the window. Give me a second to paste myself in the Photoshop screen. So here you go. Okay, should be good now. So first of all, uh, let me create a new layer and I want to show what I want to create. So basically what it is going to be is actually pretty uh, simple. It's going to be uh, like a face, basically like a robot face, but empty face with some wires inside it. And uh, what is going to happen is we're going to have uh, like robot hands coming from the sides and basically creating, completing the face, you know, because the face is going to be empty. We're only going to see some wires and chips inside it. And then the robot heads are going to come and actually complete the face and basically close it to create a, an android uh, woman. So I know it sounds pretty crazy, but yeah. Uh, let's go. Am I live? Actually, yep. Just checking, double checking whether I'm live. So uh, first of all, um, this is the image that we're going to use. And uh, I mean, it's a pretty beautiful image and a very soft image. And uh, another image that we're going to use is also going to be this image here, also a pretty cool image. The reason why we need two images is because we're going to have two girls and turn both of them into Android robots in an animation. So basically first there's going to be one girl and we will you know, change her to Android basically and then she will move and then we'll have another girl also change it. So it's going to be like a fabric for creating Androids <laughs> animation, like. Uh, let me know if the music is too loud or if you don't even hear it. Let me just check. So, um, give me a second. Okay, so sorry for this, just needed to make sure things are working fine because I'm pretty new to all of this stuff. So uh, I will also need some pretty cool chips. So this is going to be the chip that I will use inside the girl, I mean in her head. Uh, this is also going to be a chip that I will use inside her face. Hey, Suman Yu. <laughs> So, and uh, we're also going to use these chips and we'll also put them as well inside the head and uh, some other wires and s as well. So, yeah, let me just do this. This was an example. And let's start by importing the images. So this is going to be image number uno. Let's go. What's up, what's up, Chetan Kamal? <laughs> So yeah, we're creating a pretty trippy animation this time. So this is probably going to be a pretty long life. So what I will do basically, I will just, you know, add uh, 
timetable like always after live so that you can go and watch it how it was done yep so like this cool okay uh, I will delete the background we don't need it so I want to know if you actually can hear the music a bit or not at all but hopefully you can hey my mid <laughs> So uh, what I will do is I will go um, use curvature pen tool and I will start by cutting her face. So like this. Like here. Selection, yep. So, um, yeah, it looks, sorry, it looks pretty weird actually. Uh, let me adjust the selection. I want them to be more or less symmetric because right now it doesn't look symmetric at all. Huh? Huh? This here too? Um, Okay, this is weird. You don't hear the music. No music. It's not audible. Okay, this is weird. It should be coming. Okay, sure. Check please again. So uh, now I'll, I will just go to selection to make this into a selection and create new empty layer. Sorry. So I need to invert this because I actually want to have, I mean, I want to, I want this place to be empty. Now, oh, now you have music. Okay, cool. So now there is some music. Uh, let me know if it's too loud or too, not loud enough, basically. So now when we have this, I want to uh, import the backgrounds and it's going to be some cool chips. So for example, this one, I will just import it. Um, actually place place it like this let's click ok I will place it behind her like this so um, what I want to do is first of all I want to adjust the borders of the face they are not exactly as I want them hardness 100% I'll just go and uh, it's ok ok Boom. So uh, let me actually do the same a little bit here as well. It's cut out. The cutout is amazing. <laughs> we haven't started even yet, man. <laughs> yeah. So uh, now when we have this, uh, I need to let me see if I can make this smaller because right now it looks too big like this I want to uh, bend this because we need to see that it's bended inside the face like it needs to go like this so uh, right button warp and uh, what we can actually do here we can go and see if we can use any custom uh, blending bending options for example inflate can we inflate it the other way around? I think we can, right? So if I go back. Yeah, something like that, approximately. Um, but now let's actually go to grid and uh, tree by tree. And I want to manually adjust this as well. Oh, come on. Yeah, because I'm streaming Photoshop is not doing what I wanted to do. Come on, what are you doing? Just take this handle and oh, finally. So like this.
It's great now you're doing live call this next year as a Patriot. Perfect. Well, I hope so. I mean, I'm doing live because, you know, I'm creating the artwork anyway, so I thought maybe why don't I just live stream the creation of artwork? You know, it's, it doesn't really matter if, uh, you know, how many views this could or anything because I'm creating the artwork anyway, you know, live streaming it or not, I'm still creating it. So I thought why not just do it like this so that you can see the full process while I'm creating it. Uh, let's click OK now. So now I want to increase its size because I don't want to have any empty sp places. And now it looks like actually there's more depth inside it. It looks like it's rounded and not just uh, slim. So this is good. Uh, let's now continue and uh, see what else we have here. I want uh, this one, this chip, because this chip actually looks like an eye. So if you look at it, let me make it smaller. It looks like, you know, this would be a perfect place for an eye. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this place for an eye actually. But first of all, we need to get rid of its background. Um, so what I will do is just boom. And hopefully Photoshop does the rest and automatically does it. Please do more live. Yeah, that's, what, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> so um, let's get rid of these places. Boom. So now when, I mean, it's not, no, what are you doing? Don't go so far. Okay, Photoshop is playing with me. Um, yeah, if you want me to do more live sessions, please make sure to leave a like because uh, then more people can see this video and uh, it will really help me and I will not destroy a Photoshop if you do that. So that's good, right? <laughs> so I'll just create this. Boom, um, I mean, it looks a little bit weird here. Let's just try to adjust these places. Boom. So it's, it's, it's harder than usual to create the artwork because, uh, because I'm streaming, Photoshop is lagging a bit. So my mouse is uh, sometimes doing things that I don't want it to do. So yeah. Uh, I will need to delete a little bit from here and also there we actually added you see it's not going up uh, we added too much here so boom perfect look at this so now uh, I just need to place it behind voila what what is this art called I have no idea honestly it's just I just do what comes to my head I mean I would call it three peeps I had a leak art and not, it's not really trippy, it's more like Android, so maybe like futuristic art. So, uh, we, I'm going to place it here because this is going to be like part of her eye. And if we just look where exactly is her eye, it is... Okay, it's a little bit higher actually. Yeah, I mean here we have the eyebrow, so this should be here approximately where her eye is. Something like this. Good. So let's continue because I need to add more elements. I will add this one here. And this is a pretty cool uh, image. It looks uh, like a very weirdo thing. I can help you with the streaming. What is your configuration? You're gonna be like, why you create some mode, I guess. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, if you see, the main thing that if you see the Photoshop screen fine, then I think it should be good, right? If my camera is a little bit lagging, then it's not a problem because you're mainly looking at the Photoshop screen, not at my beautiful face, so yeah. <laughs> So uh, let's place it here. So this is going to be like wires inside the head, you know, it's like um, just adding some more wires basically. And I will also make this brighter, like lighten it up a bit. Um, so this is this. Uh, now I wanna add more wires probably. I will add some here as well. So let's see what exactly I wanna do. More wires. Yeah, maybe a little bit more here in the bottom. Uh, for that, I will use, uh, let's see, I have here a few wire images already uh, prepared. So let's actually take this one. Yep. Okay. Um, and uh, let's just, you know, hope Photoshop can automatically detect this. Yeah, not so good, huh? So let's, okay, let's then let's try the, um, using, just selecting white colors and um, converting this. Boom, much better, right? So, 
why, why is there a hole here in the wires? I don't get it. So let me just delete the red one because for some reason it's not connecting well and it's separate from all the rest. We have a little bit of reddish here. Um, get rid of the red. Go to your options and put it to the best. Yeah, it's already at best performance. So, <laughs> you know, uh, my battery is at its best performance. It's just my laptop is probably old. I mean, it's not really old, it's four years, but it has good specs, but I have been dropping it too often, so I guess something is not working that well, right? So anyway, um, let me actually revert this. I will place it here. Boom. And I want to, you know, warp it. And uh, for this, um, what are, well, I can use actually two things. I can use Puppet Pin tool, I can use Warp tool. Um, to be honest, probably Puppet Pin tool is just going to be easier in this case. So. I will just use Puppet Pin Tool and um, first of all, let's place it behind the face, perfect. So now if I go to Edit, I go to Puppet Warp and uh, now I can just, you know, create this type of pins here. And uh, with these pins, I can actually control now the bending. So if I now bend this, voila, look at this. I can bend this like almost perfectly, almost. Boom. So let's see how does this look. Okay, it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. So this is this looks like wires. Um, what should I add? Should I even add this thing? I mean, it's it kind of looks weird to be honest. This thing here. I don't know if it even fits. Let's see if we can do something else with it. Like maybe rotate it. I don't know what is even this uh, you know let's just leave it here imagine this is the second eye <laughs> we will see later if i add this or delete this hi hi ah yes for us is a lot in technology yeah it's, it's a lot i love how you animate the pst in after Effects. yeah we will animate this in after effects once i finish this so yeah i mean we're going to create a cool animation with this so just wait for that so um, when I have this, what I want to do now is um, let's do I do I need to add more stuff? Uh, that's a good question. Um, well, let's actually start by coloring because let's let's do the colors and then we decide later. So if I go to camera raw filter, I want to start editing the colors of this image. And uh, in my mind, it should be probably something a little bit more neon. Um, let's see what we can do here. So, haze. Uh, not really doing much. This knob. I don't want to change this. Uh, do I want to add texture or do I want to make her smooth? As I, I think I want to add texture because when we add texture, we see all of these beautiful points on the skin. When it's too smooth, then it's like, it doesn't look real. Like, okay, I want it to be more real. So uh, let's go to color mixer and uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, we're not going to see the lips. And I mean, we will see it once we finish the face, once the robot is complete, but yeah, so. Uh, well, since she's an Android, I can actually make her like different color completely, like very pink or very greenish. I mean, very pink is probably better, but yeah, no, let's actually keep it like this for now. Um, I will keep it as well. Do not touch this, so. Let's see if uh, there is almost no blue colors. So I think um, that should be it with this. Let's go to color grading and see. I wanna 
um, try to add a little bit more blue colors here to make it more a little bit like a neon effect. So this is good. Um, Yeah, so I think this is the feeling that I want for the robot effect. Um, now obviously I need to change everything else as well in the same color. So what I will do is, um, here I have all of them, I will just create color balance and uh, try to change all of them. Now they look like they're much more or less, right? Very blue, yes. Do you know I don't do photography? So, okay, let's uh, continue. I wanna, there's one thing I want to do, but I'm not sure if I can actually bring this to After Effects. Oh yeah, I think I can. So if I do this here, where is it? Where is exposure? Okay, I'm almost, I'm blind. I can't say exposure anymore. So let's bring this uh, down. Now I will invert this. And I wanna try one thing. I wanna see if it's going to work or not. So if I try to So this is uh, going to help us to add some neon colors in a second once I'm done with making things darker. So once uh, things here are darker, what I can actually try to do is, um, if I make this actually maybe even a little bit darker and uh, then I go to layer styles and uh, add a gradient overlay here, um, this one, yep. Yeah. So, let's see. It like, looks kind of cool, but maybe too much. Okay, so I'm going, to, I'm probably going to change a few things later anyway, so I will just do it like this for now so I can see the general picture because I will do the final color edits again once I export the images actually. Hi Fred, what is the best for Photoshop MacBook or HP um, MacBook? Well, it depends on the HP model, but in general, if you want to go for safe option, I would say go for MacBook. Usually Photoshop performs better on MacBooks than on most uh, Windows laptops, but it depends on the Windows laptop. If you got the right Windows laptop, then Photoshop is going to perform really well there as well. So the only problem with MacBooks is that they're overpriced. So <laughs> yeah, it's up to you depending on, it depends on your budget basically. Um, so yeah, what, I, what was I doing? I almost forgot. Okay, so I did this and uh, I want to go and start adding shadows. Okay, because I need to add some shadows here. I think I will change opacity and flow, make them lower so that when I add shadows, it's not too strong. And I need to add some shadows here in the borders basically, just to make it look like these things are actually inside the face, you know.
Yep, like this. Uh, so this is the first layer of shadows. I enjoyed your class on Skillshare. Thank you. I'm really happy you enjoyed it, Nishit. Hi, hi, Arman. So, um, let's see. Now I need to add more shadows, and uh, I want to add shadow now behind this, um, behind this thing. So for this one, I will actually make hardness a little bit higher, like around 50%, and try to add more hardness and more shadows here. But is it even looping songs? Okay, I hope it is. I feel like it's playing the same song over and over. <laughs> yeah. So uh, once we have this now, it looks like there's more depth. So for example, if I you know, turn off the shadows, you can see it looks pretty flat, but once I add a little bit of shadow, it already looks uh, like it has more depth. If when I add even more shadows, now it looks even better with the depth. But this is not all I uh, wanna add some shadows here. Oh, wait, actually, um, so where is this? Fantasy, yeah, I wanna add some shadows here. Just uh, above the circuit board, but behind this fantasy thing. I don't know what this thing called. So I will just add some shadows here. Like this. Okay. So good i think um oh let me save this oh my god i forgot to save this i was about to jump from the balcony if my photoshop crashed uh what should i call this i should call this um android girls animation let's save this yep okay Whew. so uh now when i have this um, let's think, what else should I do here? I'm thinking about the colors. So, let's go to exposure. I wanna get rid of this uh, pinky orange outfit here on the hair. Yeah, just a bit. Advice on her neck. Well, this one looks like Anthony from Smosh. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, so, wires on her neck. I mean, it could work, but she needs to look like a human once she's... Uh, because it's going to be a robot that is going to transform into a human. So if you have wires on the neck, then when she's transformed into a human, we will see that she is robot and not a human. But I want people to see that she is a... Android basically that looks very real like a human basically because the face will close and once the face is closed We will not see this thing So there's going to be animation where we will see this first and then robot hands will come to her face and then close the face And once the face is closed, we will see only the face So um, Okay, I think it looks fine uh, I think it looks fine Oh, I forgot to add uh, some thickness because here basically as you can see this is very smooth as uh, seen the borders we need to make them a little bit thicker um, so let me think how can I do that or if should I even do that okay this is what I will do um, I'm thinking. I will uh, create a duplicate of the same image. And now with this duplicate, I will actually just move it a little bit up. So now I moved it a little bit up. You don't see it probably, but if you look here, uh, there's a little bit distance here. So now, for example, if I go to image adjustments, brightness, contrast, I bring the brightness down and contrast high. Now it's going to look like we have here this um, thickness, basically, to the face. Should it be bright? 
I mean, it should be brighter, most probably darker. So if I now zoom out, now, for example, if I turn this off and on, we can see that here it's a little bit thicker and uh, it looks, I think it looks better because it can't be that thin, right? So let's see, do I want to show it from here or from the... Nah, that was good, yeah, that was definitely good. A little bit more... Um... Yep, this is, this should be fine. So now when we have this, let's actually save this. Big brain. Well, I am big brain, thank you, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. Um, well, let's see. So now when we have this, I need to think first of all, I'm going to export this into After Effects. And also I need to think of uh, ways how I will have the robot hands and all of the other faces. So let's actually take the face. Let's create a duplicate of it. And uh, let's delete the mask this time. Not delete it, sorry. Let's inverse it. So what will happen now is that, I mean, what happened already is that we have here this face. This layer is only responsible for the face. So I'm just gonna call it uh, face gates, face gates, because they're going to open and close. So now we need to divide it into two, uh, so that first we're going to close the left part and then we're going to close the right part, basically. And uh, let's see how I'm gonna do that. So I need to cut her face into half for that, actually. So let's do this. I know it sounds horrible, but yeah. Don't act. Perega, throw something on the processor. So, um, I need to cut this. Let's see. I will use curvature pen tool uh, and just go over the nose almost, almost directly over the nose. Okay, good. So now when I have this, I will just do like this. I will turn this into a selection. And uh, I will create a group with uh, this layer inside. And now I will just create a mask for this group. Boom, and now you can see we have the right part, good. So now we need to do the same for the left part as well. So I will just, uh, I will call this right. I will copy this group. I will call this left and uh, do the same for the left part. Basically, what I, I will just invert this mask and once I do it, boom. So now we have uh, here the left part and uh, the right part. Now we can close and open both of them. So uh, now when I have both of them, I actually need to basically add a little bit of depth here as well. Or should I add depth on the left part or on the right part? That is a good question. Um, the robot hands are going to come like this. So, or should there even be depths? Here, maybe here a bit. Actually, I honestly don't think there should because it's very, it's like in the front, you cannot really see what is behind, so probably no. So let's keep it like this for now. Uh, now I need to obviously add robot hands. And let's see if I can actually find some nice robot hands um, if I go to the 3D, I don't know, robot. Um, wait, I don't need the robot. I need hands, not the full robot. Robot hand. Let's see if we can find something. So this is actually pretty cool. Maybe this sh could work like, um, like this. So I will open this in a tab. Let me close everything else because we don't need it, so it's not getting confusing. But I don't actually want a hand. I want like a, yeah, something like this, exactly. I don't want like a hand hand. I want some kind of machine. Or this could also work, probably. Um, let's see. 
robotic arm. Where do you find inspiration? Is in what element? Now, unfortunately, in what element is not free. So I'm paying for this because I'm using this for many projects, for the client's projects, for all the other projects. So that's why for me personally, it's worth paying for this because I'm using this a lot for music, for all the other elements and everything else. Um, in theory, I could also create this on my own. In my previous, there's an artwork where I've created this on my own. Actually, um, if I show you, so I just want to show you something. Um, because in the latest artwork, I actually created the robot hand on my own, just drew it manually. So here, basically, oh wait, here, you see, these are actually created in Photoshop using just rectangles and texture. So I created this manually, I did not download this for anything like this. So, and I think it still looks pretty cool. So yeah, um, maybe I should just reuse this and uh, apply it to, the, to that artwork because this, I think this looks nice. The, um, the robotic hands, I mean. Um, if I just, oh, okay. Let's go back to here. I need to think how I'm going to put it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I will do. Just, um, I will create it from zero just to show you. Hey Fred, hey, monitor and where do you find inspiration from? So I will just uh, create the robotic hands on my own just to show you how I would create them. So basically I will create the things here as I have on my own just to show so that you can create as well. These are just created using rectangles, textures and so on. So in order to do that, what I will do is um, First of all, I will go to the very top. I will select rectangle tool. And uh, actually, no, I will select pen tool. And I will start creating. So let's. Oops. The wrong pen tool. Normal pen tool I want, not the curvature one. Perfect. So this is step one. I will turn this into a shape, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's going to be black for now. Actually, no, let's let's not make it black. I want to make it gradient, and uh, I want to make it like uh, let's see. I want to make it like a brownish yellow gradient, something like that. And uh, the next color. Something like this, perfect. So now when I have this, I will um, rotate this, place it here. Good. Uh, now I will create a circle here. So again, in case you don't know what's happening, we're creating a robotic hand uh, in Photoshop, so on our own. I'm just creating a circle now. Oh, wait, wait, it needs to be on a separate layer. Creating a circle. Boom. Like this. And uh, now, oops, let's, let's turn this off for now. I will turn this back on later. So it's not annoying. Um, let's rotate this, place it here, and uh, let's make this smaller. Something like that. And uh, okay, so uh, now when I have this, um, it's uh, are you crazy? What do you mean doesn't consent in pixels? Sometimes Photoshop shows you a really weird messages. Um, uh, okay, so 
so let's be to the right so let's move them I'll move this like this good so let's continue we need another circle so I will place it here make this smaller nice so um okay we're still starting we still need to do a lot actually with this robotic hand let me drink something what is the best amount so um when we have this I will now copy it and uh, so actually you know I, I need to first of all change its color so let's go back oh, come on now I need to create depths for this and uh, what I will do is I will create duplicates of it I will move them and uh, I will basically make them darker so convert to smart object go to image adjustment brightness just to make this darker and uh, when we make it darker we're actually creating this type of uh, thickness to it like this so let me just rotate this a bit good so now let's do the same for the all, all the other elements as well so for the circle but first of all, we need to change the color of the circle I mean it's not going to be black um, neither white I don't know I need to make it closer to this type of colors probably best with a gradient Why is it closing? Now it's a bit orange, orangey color, yep. Um, probably a little bit darker. Yes, nice. So now let's create a duplicate of this ellipse. Let's move it. And again, also let's convert to smart object and uh, make it darker using brightness contrast. Um, okay. Okay, it already starts looking like a real robotic hand. We still have the way through, but it's already not bad. So uh, I will create a duplicate of this background again and uh, I will just move this here this time to this place so basically for this make it smaller rotate Good, and the last one, which is this circle here. So, okay, what I will do is um, I will just I will delete this black one, and uh, I will just take these circles, these two ones, move them over there, make them smaller, place them here. and uh, place them um, behind that shape okay
good uh, I just need to take this and uh, probably oh come on just make this smaller make this rounded so that it looks like it's getting inside it and not just you know on top of it and uh, now we need to move this ellipse again boom so now this already starts looking like a robotic hand more or less hello from vietnam hi dang okay now uh this is already a robotic hand but we still need to add some textures to it so what i will do is I will go to Unsplash and uh, oops, what is GT? <laughs> oh, come on. I forgot how to type. Yeah, I know in Battlement is a paid site. So um, here I will fa look for texture. But I want to find like a dirty texture. So let's see. Do they actually have like dirt? If I type in dirt texture, is there going to be anything? Yeah, this is what I need. Uh, dirt texture. Um, so. Okay, so now what I want to do is, I want to select all of these things. Okay, group them, so this is basically the whole robotic hand. Now I need to add dirt texture to it, so I will just import this image that I have here. I will place it here, click OK. I will uh, click right button and go to create clipping mask. And then I will try to change its blending mode so that it is only on the robotic hand. Um, soft light kind of looks fine. Hard light, not bad, but. Yeah, I will probably go with soft light for this one. Okay, so uh, now there is there is some texture here, so it already starts looking much better. What I else need to add is so when the robot is going to put the face, the robot it needs to hold the face somehow, right? So we need to have here this type of like some kind of hands, like uh, not hands but small. I don't know. I don't know how to call them. Small things, rectangles holding the face. So. But do we really need it? Maybe I should just make the circle bigger. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe I should just make the circle bigger. I mean, if that works, why do I need hands, right? So if I just make this bigger, because there needs to be something which is going to hold the face. So, um, Okay, um, let's see, when, when I add the colors, let's see what is happening here. Okay, so now we have uh, the left robot tank and uh, we're just going to copy the same for the right, right one as well. So let me just close this. And uh, I will just duplicate this basically. Um, actually, I want to duplicate together. So I will select everything, click right button, convert to smart object. And now I have the whole robotic hand. Boom. Uh, create a copy. Move this there. Rotate it. I want to see if it's going to look fine there as well. Okay. 
So now, for example, uh, when I'm going to have the right part, yep, looks fine. So there's going, both of them are going to work together and to assemblish the robot, basically. Okay, so we start, it starts getting nice. Um, <clears throat> let me think. This is, yeah, obviously, I'm, we are missing shadows. And the thing is that for the shadows, we actually need to put them inside the robotic hand. So what I will have to do is, uh, let me delete one of the hands because we only need one anyway. I mean, we can use a duplicate of it and just reverse it, so that's why. So what I will do is I will create a shadow for this hand specifically. And uh, the thing is that, okay, yeah, I think it should work. So I'll have to do it manually. Just uh, not exactly right. Um, I'm thinking if that's how it's going to be. I feel like it's not, so let's... And uh, a little bit of... A little bit of stuff here, just around the edges. Just a bit of darkness. Okay, so this looks fine. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be together. So I'm just gonna call this robotic hand. Can I get recorded? What do you mean you can get recorded? I will post this after like the live is finished. I will post this on YouTube in case you wanna watch this. Did you analyze this live on some social? No, I didn't analyze, analyze this live anywhere, anywhere. I mean, maybe I should announce it on Instagram, but... Yeah, anyway, it's my second live, so I'm just... I'm just getting... I'm just figuring stuff out for the live part, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, can I get... Maybe you can use me to touch on the robot hands. Yeah, maybe... Um, if you... Let's, let's give it a try. I'm not sure how it's going to look, but let's give it a try. So let's see. Um, this is nice. I don't know if this is going to do much, but maybe it could work. Who knows? Uh, so did I download? No, I did not. I will download. I will also download this just for experiment. Let's see how it's going to look because I, we don't have anything to lose, right? So I really like this type of texture. Like it's like old metal. Um, so yeah, let's see. Where's the robotic hand? It's here. Let's add. those textures. Oh, it's, it's really hot. So, I will place them here. Make it smaller. Just place it like this. Oops, create clipping mask and uh, change the blending mode. Um, overlay. Hmm. So let's see, uh, this is with overlay and this is without it. Okay, let's try the other ones as well because they have here actually three of them. 
Oops. So, yeah, let's actually try the other ones as well. I can actually make my job easier for me. So what I will do is I'll just click right button and uh, replace content and then I will choose the other one just so I don't have to import new texture every time I want to try it out. If I just double click Yeah, it looks weird <laughs> and not correct as well. So, yeah, this is not it. Nope. And the last one, let's see how the last one is going to look. The like, old metal texture. So it's either this one or, um, let's again have a look, or the previous one, or this one. I like this one more, I don't know, it's just a little bit cleaner and I don't know. I think it looks nice. So, oh wait, it's not full uh, size. Yep. Perfect. So I think now we have, oh no, we don't have everything yet. Because, because, uh, let me show you what we are missing. So the robotic hand, left, right, but. So here I need to uh, have some type of eye. So what I will do basically is, uh, I will just go to and search for an eye. And I will just import an eye there. Um, Yeah, this one, probably this one. It didn't download, did it? Okay. Hello, man. Hello, Josh. Joshi. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Where is the eye? Okay, it's here. Um, wow. <laughs> she looks like, a, you know, there's this animal with one eye, not an animal, but like a mystical animal, not a real one. I forgot how, Cyclop? Yeah, she looks like a Cyclop man. Um, so, let's select the eye and uh, Okay, this did not do a pretty good job, right? I'll just make this bigger. What are you doing? What? Come on, I just want to resize this. Okay. There is no warp transformation on this object. Are you crazy? <laughs> I did not add warp to this Photoshop. What are you doing? <laughs> Man, Photoshop is lagging. It doesn't allow me to make this bigger, this stupid eye. <laughs> okay. Finally, so uh, let's create a mask. Uh, let's actually um, do this. Let's select this. And uh, create a mask. Okay. Okay, not, not too bad. So, wow, this looks really creepy. <laughs> So yeah, uh, now when we have this, and I will just call it, I will call it like a third eye. It's not really third one, but it's, it's not the main one. Photoshop gets crazy sometimes. Yeah, it does. 
So uh, now when I have this, I need to start exporting this. I think I'm ready to export finally. But actually I want to change the colors a bit. Also this exposure thingy. Um, Let's add everything to see. Oops. So. Okay, you know, I will do that that final edit in After Effects. The, col the final color edit, I mean. Um, let's start exporting. And we will start by exporting this first. Separately or together? That is a good question. Let's export separately first. So what I want to do is I want to select all of these parts, put them in a group and call them uh, back because this is all of her back. Uh, let's turn this off and let's export this. I will create a new separate folder. And uh, what was this called? Android Girls Animation. So this is front. Okay, now let's turn this off. Also turn this off. This is back. This is back. Let's save this just in case it gets crazy. You can try to add some particles. What type of particle effect? Mm -hmm. So uh, now when I have this, I need to have the right part and the left part also exported separately. For this, I will just um, I will just convert them into smart objects. I don't know why I didn't do that before. So quick export as PNG. Uh, left, yep, yeah, left PNG, exactly. And then quick export as PNG, right. Perfect. Uh, now the robotic hands. The robotic hand. It just, we need to probably color grade the robotic hand a little bit. Like maybe just a very bit. Like make it a little bit more violet. Okay, so let's convert this to a smart object, right button and uh, quick export as PNG and uh, robotic hand. And uh, let's see, oh, we also have the third eye that we did not import yet. Quick export as PNG and uh, third eye. So let's see if we got everything that we needed. So we have the uh, back, the front, left part of the face, right part of the robotic hand, and the third eye. I think that's all we need for the animation. Oh, actually, no, it's not all. There's one thing left that I want to do, but I'm not sure. I want to put her in a TV, like, uh, you know, in a screen. I, I think should turn it into gray. Please say voila. <laughs> Why do you want me to say voila? So I will actually, so what I will do, I will put the animation inside a TV. 
So let's that's why what uh, let's just add a quickly find some like pretty old TV. Wow, this looks cool. You know what, I can do this in After Effects as well, so let's actually, yeah. Let me just uh, close Photoshop for now. Because I don't want to open After Effects and Photoshop at the same time. That would be crazy. Oops. So, uh, now I will be opening After Effects. And I will wait a bit while it opens and I will drink something while it is opening, so. Oh. I have nothing left actually. <laughs> yeah, let's wait a bit. How's life? Yeah, if you like this and especially if you're going to rewatch this after it's finished, you know, uh, the cool Photoshop to After Effects trip animation, make sure to leave a like because this is going to help me a lot and probably help me to reach more people with the live streams at least. So now let's wait till for After Effects opens because we already have all of our files ready for the animation and then we can jump into After Effects and start animating them. Wow! So, uh, what I want to do, yeah, let me change. Boom! So, uh, first thing I want to do is... Okay, it's not done opening. New project, obviously. I want to actually clear uh, the media cache because it just told me that the media cache is full. In case you don't know in After Effects, uh, like when you start working, you get lots of media cache, which is like, it could be up to gig gigabytes big, and you need to clean it if you want the After Effects to work well. Uh, as you can see, I didn't clean, so After Effects is going crazy a bit. Uh, well, it looks like it's empty. Let's just empty this as well. Just empty everything so that we can start from clean and uh, empty After Effects. Perfect. So uh, now when we have this, I need to, okay. I need to start importing these images. I will just select all of them and import them to After Effects. I follow you for a long time, bro. Thank you, thank. Edit water in the glass and drink it. <laughs> I cannot do that. You think you're so sm funny, huh? Smart? <laughs> what are your device specs? Um, actually, device specs are pretty good, but because I'm streaming, it's not, it's lagging a bit. So it's a 16 gigabyte of RAM, which I think is good. Uh, the video card, I don't remember, remember the name of the video card, but it's four gigabytes. So should be fine for Photoshop specifically, and even for After Effects. Uh, and it's i7, um, yeah. So, let's start with the front. So now if I just drop this here, it's going to automatically create a composition. Now let's go and drop in the back here. Boom, perfect. Now let's go and uh, start dropping everything else. So we need to drop the left, the right. Robotic hand and third eye. Okay, so uh, let's start with the left and right. I'll move, now let's go to the right. I will move this to the right. So, I need to kind of place them, you know. Come on, just a bit. Okay, and uh, now the right part. Okay. 
Okay, should be good. So uh, now when we have this right, uh, I need to, uh, well, Zai, we can deal with it later. It's going to be behind anyway. And then the robotic hand, it needs to be, oh. It needs to be here somewhere. So uh, now I need to create duplicate of the robotic hand. And uh, I need to rotate it, obviously. So I need to flip it. Okay, and uh, transform, flip, perfect. Uh, probably make them a little bit bigger. I feel like they're too small. So we go to scale and I will make them. Why is it minus one? Oh, because it's flipped, that's why. Okay, so I will have to change it one by one, I guess. 120 and here, minus 120. Uh, how cool is that? So, Take a shot after, yeah, I will take the shot after I finish the animation, of course. So, uh, once I have this, now I need to basically, so in order to animate this, I need to connect the parts of the face to the hands, to the robot hands. So that means that, for example, this is, and this is the left hand, and uh, let me just rename it uh, left, and uh, this is going to be right, right. So left, uh, let's connect it to the left and let's connect the right one to the right. So what does this mean now? This means that for example, if I now decide to move the face, as you can see the hand is going to move together with the face, which is pretty cool. So let's go back. So now to animate them, all I need to do is I will um, open position animation. So. And that means that After Effects is not going to remember their position at this specific point. And uh, so for example, as you can see, we have here a point and here it's also on second zero. After Effects remembers that now on second zero, this is their point and this is where they are. So what I will do, I actually want them, um, so I actually want them to close on second number four, I guess. So one, on second six probably. So what I will do is I will move them. I will move this point here to second six. So now if I go to the very beginning of my timeline and uh, I move them, so let's start with the uh, left one. I just place it here. The right one. I just place it here. Now, uh, what's going to happen is that if I try to animate this, so if I try to move this, this is going to automatically move together and actually finish on second number six. So this is cool. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to change the trajectory because right now it's just going straight to the face. I want it to go like a wave, you know, like it's going to go down and then up to the face. So what does this mean? For example, it here is the animation tri trajectory. I think that's how it's called. And uh, what I can do here is I can actually uh, try to animate this like this. And now, for example, if you look at the right one, let me turn off the left one for now. If you look at the right one, it's going to go down and then up. Yeah, so it's going to go down and then up. That's exactly what I want. So let me turn on the left one and let's do the same for the left one as well. Also, I need to smoothen 
uh, when they close so because they're going to go fast and when they close they're going to close a little bit slower so in order to do that or at least something like that what I will do basically is uh, I will go to easy is in so that means that when they reach to the point um, they're actually going to get smoother once they reach to the end point so it's going to be like this boom and then slow so fast and then slow well something like that not exactly but similar so oh let me save this as well I forgot to save this um, it's Android animation go oh, it's, I'm getting tired so and uh, now if I move this both of them are, now it's getting animated and now it's going to finish and basically close the face which is pretty cool so um, now I need to add the where is it the third eye yeah I'm adding the eye now <laughs> now I need to add the third eye The reason why I need a third eye is I want to make it glitchy. Wow, my laptop is about to explode. It's holy. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> oh my, that's not good at all. Um, so, because it's hot in my room in general. Okay, um, so what I want to do now is yeah, let's wait for some effects to load. Thank you, Hargun Combo. The face isn't precisely attached to the head. There is literally a line on the right side. Yeah, I know there is a line on the right side, but uh, I won't. I think it's good that there is a line because, I mean. Robot, I think I just want to make look like an Android and I think an Android should probably have a line between the face and the attachment part, so <laughs> So um, Hello, what, what is happening here? Yeah, let's go to glitch We are digital glitch. Yeah, let's try this one on the third eye Let me actually cross here everything that I don't need because After Effects is really heavy on the laptop and when you have also other stuff open it can get crazy so Okay, I just hope my After Effects won't crash now. Okay, it's thinking, it's thinking about crashing. It's lagging because of After Effects. Because uh, I think the connection, the connection is good. It's green, so that's good. But After Effects is going crazy right now. So that's the thing. That's the problem. So okay. So hopefully it. It works out. And um, 
I forgot how um, I haven't used this effect in a while I forgot how I was doing how I was using this one or maybe the after effects oh no no whoa, 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 whoa. I think it was in distortion yeah Geometry distortion, geometry, yeah, geometry distortion, color distortion. Yeah, it is. There is a glitch, but it's not that visible because the image is pretty small. So uh, let's try and see if we can. I will probably need to uh, use a different glitch effect. Because this one is not really working let's turn this off for now and uh, let's try to use distort this transform I forgot what what I used last time um I mean, I could do something manually, but I don't want to do it manually. I want to use the preset. Why is it not opening? Distort. Yeah, I can't, I can't seem to get it right. Okay, uh, I will do a little bit different. So I will just delete this. We don't need it. Let me think. Are you using the HTCI? Um, yeah, I am. The light with a glow. Yeah, glow is also a pretty cool idea. Okay, this is what I will do. I will take. I, I will make it like you know when you turn on the TV, it it opens. I will make the eye kind of open like uh, like when you turn on something and it opens like this. So um, the way I'm going to do it, actually, um, is going to be this. Let me think. So I will basically create a mask. I will do it like uh, the easiest way, I guess. So what I will do, I will go to expansion. And here, for example, if I uh, make the expansion minus, as you can see, it's closing. So. I'll make this zero. Oh, sorry, I will make it minus, minus, minus 34. It's nice. And uh, then it, when it gets to two, actually, maybe here somewhere, it should go back to zero. So it's going to open. And then it will glow. After that, I will also add a uh, glow effect. Glow. Sorry, not glow. I mean, let's actually try glow. Now, let's try brightness. So I will just, I will make it brighter and it's going to look like it's glowing. Brightness contrast. So it opens and then it's going to go like 
hardcore bright it will go hardcore bright a little bit faster then it will go back to normal brightness and then it will go back to hard squares again so it's going to blink like okay so let me save this just in case how long is this one hour 26 minutes already so um cool now what i need to do is now as you can see so we have the eyes moving and it's getting there uh, i should also probably add some kind of something here so maybe make some of them like blink like be bright and so on so let's think what i can do here What can I do? Um, or should I even do anything there? Okay, this is what I will do. I will add the light there, like add light going on and off, like a light bulb. So, what I will do is I will go to layer, new, I'll go to layer new adjustment. Uh, I will add a oh sorry, not adjustment, wrong one. I will add new solid layer. Uh, let's make it like yellowish. Yep. Um, now what I want to do is I want to move it behind but I want it to be behind this chip so only here and unfortunately I will have to do it manually so I will just have to take my pen tool and uh, just do it so first of all I will reduce opacity so I can see what actually I'm doing and uh, boom Good. Now I just need to increase feather because right now as you can see it's too, it's not smooth enough. I want to make it smoother. It's too edgy. Oops, not expansion, not expansion, feather. So like 40, 60. Okay. And uh, let's now change the blending mode of this and blend with the background. So where is the blending mode? Here. Okay, nope. Not exactly how I imagined this.
So, um, I'm thinking what to do with this yellow thing, because I don't like it right now, so... I need my sparks in between wires. Yeah, I could do that. I could actually do that. I could create circles here, like, um, just with white color. No stroke. Like this. Um, okay, now just, let's just add a little bit of Gaussian blur. So what I, I just need to create many copies of this now for the other places and make this bigger and it's gonna look like a light basically. It's going to look like it's glowing. Maybe make this a little bluish. And now I'll just need to do the same for all the other ones as well. Okay, so where is it? Where is the shape? Here. Let's just duplicate, duplicate duplicate, duplicate, and uh, start moving them here, it's too big, Move your damn anchor point, yeah. <laughs> you could press the wheel and make the flash and sign me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, stupid anchor point. So, uh, now when I have this, I just need to animate them basically, turn them off and on, so this is pretty easy. Um, let's start with the. So, first we're going to have this one go off and on, just basically go on. So, watch we should do is, I should just open transparency for all of them, opacity I mean, um, turn opacity on for all of them, and uh, go to this one, bring this to yellow, to zero, well, this one as well. Oops, wait. Oh, this one. RTX 3090. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting myself a new laptop soon, so it should be fine. Um, so this is fine, and uh, where, where is it? So what is going to happen is, this is first going to turn off, then it's going to turn back on, and then off again so it's going to boom 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 and uh, then all of the other ones will start to turn on off and so on so it's just going to be a nice light show basically
so I will just take every second one and bring them to 100. And then all the ones that are on, they will off, and all the ones that are off, they will turn on. So they will just change places basically. So I'm what elements to sponsor for public your address, I will send it to you. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> so So now just going to go um first we'll have this light ding ding uh, then we'll have the other lights turn off and on uh but probably I should start doing this light show a little earlier. Because there's so much space between this and uh, and actually continue doing it so because it's a hundred I'll just copy this and uh, paste them to repeat oops Ah, oh, come on. Okay, we'll have to do them one by one. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy paste and uh, finally copy paste. Perfect. So let's save this. So, so now we have the eye here, which is pretty cool. Then we have the slides, which are going off and on. And then we finally have the robot hands closing in. Boom. So now there is one last part left. I want to put this into a TV so that it looks like you know someone is watching it and uh, the way i will do this is actually pretty easy what i will do is um i will go here i will create a new cap composition so now this is a new composition now i just need to have a tv tv image i need to find a nice image of a tv that will match For example, this, maybe, this is cool, but it's not a TV, it's an aquarium. <laughs> um, let's download this. Let's see what else can we find here. Oh, this is nice. Where are my TVs? I will take this one, the one in the wild. I think that looks cool. So I will put this TV here. Uh, I will make it smaller. So what's going to happen is we're going to be zoomed in and then we will zoom out. Where is the old one? Hey man, hi Bumida from Sri Lanka. Use the force to, yeah, I will use the force to. <sighs> so, I will place this higher now, like this. 
here actually it needs to be more zoomed in yep I need to scale it more So this needs to be this needs to be fully scale, zoomed in so that when I zoom out we can clearly see the things. Like this somehow. So now oops. Now the thing is that um, I need to blend the TV with her so that we can see that she's inside the TV and uh, for that I will have to use uh, different blending options so uh, let's see what can we do here let's see if we can actually blend it well overlay multiply nope Let's go off with overlay for now. So what is going to happen is we will see this. Um, actually, you know what? Let's actually leave it like this for now. We will first look at the animation and then it will start zooming out uh, s smoothly, slowly, I mean. So let's see. Okay, I will leave it for lighting for now. We will change it later probably so now the animation is going and uh, everything is happening blah 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 and while this is happening so this is when we should start zooming out at this point i think and that means at this point we should also start seeing the overlay appear so i will go from zero op opacity to uh, more opacity so what is this six boom so now here's the thing the girl needs to, we need to move this out together with the tv and this needs to be with the girl so now I'll start from number four second number four and let's start zooming it out and uh, I think when it's already on second eight, I wanted to completely zoom it out. Oh wait, I also want to control the position, not only the scale. Where is it? It's here. So it's going to zoom out from the TV and then we will see this. Uh, so now when it is zooming out, I think the problem is that the image is too small for the TV, so we'll have to make the image bigger as well while this is happening. So that means that uh, the scale need to change here. Sorry, not only the scale but also the position. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. So we need to uh, 
create a message that the image is always inside the TV. So for that, I will take a pen tool and with pen tool, I will actually have to create a shape here. So let's turn this off for now. Um, Perfect. So now when we have this, um, I will put it here and I can actually put and I will use this as a mask for our main, it's over for the girl basically. So if I go here and choose this, so now for example when this is going to scale up, it's not going to move outside this place. Uh, one thing I will do, I will go to shape pattern, content, shape. I will probably add a little bit of blurriness to the shape so that the edges of the shape are a little bit blurry, like 10. So uh, now when this is happening, now if I, you will see if I start moving, um, totally forgot, the shape needs to move together with this thing here. So now if I start moving the goal, you see she will not go outside the TV. That is exactly what I want. You see the edges are very edgy, so that's why I need to add more um, blue to the shape, basically. 10. Now as you can see they are smoother and if we do 20 they are going to be much better. So now it's very smooth. We could even add more probably. 40. Okay, so now let's continue. What is this? Oh, oops. So let's Perfect. Wow. Change the scale of the TV to fit the image first. This is the image first. You don't see it's like this. Then uh, it starts zooming out and then we start seeing that it's inside the TV. So. Okay, uh, this is eight seconds, I think. Yep, it is. So what I want to do here is, uh, first of all, let's trim this to eight seconds exactly. Uh, let's see, I probably want to add some color grading here. Whew. Um, 
I'm thinking of a Let's save this just in case. So let's now go to this front and let's actually try to add some glitchiness to it. Let's see if we can we are glitch. We are digital glitch. So yeah, this is what I want. Nope, I will do this differently. This is not what I want. Um, I have a preset, but I have it in Premiere Pro. So I will probably need to move to Premiere Pro now to change, to add the preset that I want to this glitch specifically. Let me think, how can I do that? So what I will do is, um, I want to add a TV overlay. Pixels video. That's not what I want. I want like a um, you know when the TV is not showing, we see these dots. That's what I want to have. TV glitch. <sighs> yeah, this is. I think maybe this could. This should work. So let me download this. This should be fine. Thank you, Magda. Uh, glitch. Not exactly. Let's give this a try. Thank you, Luz. Um, so, Mm -hmm. 
Now I also need to put the glitch as well in the mat so that it's only inside the TV and not anywhere else. And I need to change the blending mode of this to Let's see. I will add it only from here. So basically it's going to be invisible here. And then starting from 7 seconds it's going to be visible. should probably increase the duration of this. Now I just need to add uh, some colors to the overall thing. Color balance. <clears throat> Should I make it bluish? Let's see. green because the green is kind of the color of creepiness so it should definitely not be here but maybe once I zoom out I should see it here I feel like you created a lot of contrast between making robots get it into full on nature yeah but this is it's good right I mean <laughs> I don't know it's it's something that you would not expect when you're watching the animation and then suddenly what you're out in the nature <laughs> starting from the robots yeah, the background, um, I'm thinking what should I or could I do to the background. That's something I'm thinking about right now. It's 
let's go with curves. I can't find them here. Call correction curves. So let's make sure we have some doubt and let's see what could we do here. Oh, you know what? Um, that's what I will do. I totally forgot about that. So stupid from me. Um, I will use a color loot. So simple. Why didn't I think of it before? I don't know why. So. I don't want to spend hours color grading this. So let's just use a color loot, but now the question is what type of color loot? Ooh, pretty spooky. Uh, this was the first one. Let's see, maybe I wanna go for something more um, fantasy style. I actually like the first one probably, but let's see, we still... So it all starts from this one, then we have the eye, it's closing, it's, uh, and then suddenly it's zooming out. And now we are in the wild, in the nature, what? So. But it should be a loop. And in order to do the loop, uh, what should I do first? I want to add glitch at the end so that there is a loop actually like here somewhere in the end there should be like the TV glitch effect so that for this I will use uh, this image that I have here So it's going to be like this and then suddenly there's going to be a glitch and then it's going to start all over. So basically it's going to be trans like a transition from the end to the beginning. There's going to be a glitch transition and then it's going to start all over. So. Why I'm doing this? I could just cut this out. Sometimes I'm doing stupid things. So 
is going to be a transition. Here it's going to fade out. And here it's going to fade in. Okay. So guys, uh, let me just show you again what is happening here. Um, uh, we're getting this first of all. You know, it's robotic hands. We have the eyes. We have this light here, lighting off and on. Uh, again, the eye is turning on. Then we have the lights in the background. Then we have the robot, and uh, then we have the TV going out, and then. Finally, again, we have the glitch again and then boom and then it's starting all over again and uh, boom and then it's a loop. So I will not export this now, uh, but you will see it on my Instagram at Fred's Gallery. If you follow me, I will post it probably tomorrow on my Instagram because I still need to add uh, some music there for the glitch effects. You know, when we have the glitch, some kind of that sound or when we have when we're in the nature, some nature sound and so on. So if I just go to um so here i will post it on my instagram if you want to see it um wait let me just change this if you want to see it make sure to check out tomorrow because i will most likely post it tomorrow make sure to check out my classes at learnfromfred.com love you guys i hope this was useful i'm pretty tired so we did it tomorrow you will see everything together with the music and so on. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> so where is it?